Jeff Sessions claimed that Romans 13 justifies in a Christian framework the separation of families and children at the border is nonsense. I would cite you to the Apostle Paul and his clear and wise command in Romans uh, 13 to obey the laws of the government because God has ordained, ordained the government for his purposes. So part of what Jeff Sessions is saying when he refers to Romans 13 is <laughs> a suggestion that he is himself appointed by God uh, to be Attorney General. If he believes that is the case, then he has to believe it is true across the board that all leaders are appointed by God. It certainly leads us into a lot of strange rabbit holes, logically, um, and, and I, one would have to question you know, how far down the bureaucracy that goes, what it means in terms of impeachment. So Romans 13 is kind of this infamous passage, right, because it does this neat little sleight of hand. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those authorities that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists authority resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. So if someone is asking you, well, you're separating children from their mothers and fathers at the border, or you're performing all of these acts of cruelty on people who can't defend themselves, um, an easy way to get out of explaining yourself is to shift the moral question from about what you're doing to about what they're doing. Romans 13 has traditionally been abused and exploited in that way. Um, and it was abused and exploited in that way in the case of slavery. And what's crucial here is that nobody asked Jeff Sessions what is the moral content of what these migrants are doing? We ask Sessions what the moral content of what he is doing is. As a ruler, what does God expect of you, Jeff Sessions? As someone who has power, what does God expect out of you? If Christ were the king on earth right now, how would he manage the position you're in? The way you're doing it or in another way? God loves strangers and, and God places them at the sort of top of his hierarchy of moral concern. Um, he talks about giving sojourners and wanderers food and clothes and treating them with compassion and dignity. Um, and that's what he expects out of his people. So this is a very strong and repeatedly reinforced theme in the Old Testament. And then you move into the, the New Testament and the theme kind of like blossoms in a really interesting way where Christians understand themselves to be strangers in the world right? Your soul is at home in heaven with God. And when you're here on earth in this temporal realm, everything is kind of ill-fitting and strange because you're actually meant for a much greater, more perfect beauty. Therefore, we're all to treat each other with appropriate mercy and compassion because we're all strangers wandering in this place, trying to get to our destination at home with God. This is why Pope Francis, for example, has been very emphatic about um, the treatment of migrant families. You would be very hard pressed to find in the Bible um, what Sessions seems to see, which is, well, if you come into my country, I kind of have carte blanche. You know, no one asked you to come into my territory, you did it, so now it's sort of my rules. This is very, very alien to the sort of um, Jewish and Christian traditions. You have a special moral status as a stranger, and uh, I think that it's very important to honor that.